This will get all of the hair off the ground. This came from that. Creating more fluff after cleaning all of that. Thanks, Astro. This is how much came out. Ready, ready? You're such a fluff monster. Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. My name is Stacy, and this is Astro. I just wanted to say happy holidays everyone. Whichever holiday that you celebrate, I hope that you are enjoying it and surrounding yourself with the people that you love. Just genuinely hope you enjoyed the last couple of weeks of 2023. And I'm so thankful that you are here spending your time on this channel. I'm very grateful for every single one of you. Thank you all so much for your support and all of the supportive comments that you leave. It really motivates me to continue my journey here on YouTube. If you are looking to give any gifts for dog parents, especially for dogs that shed, this is the video for you. As you all may know, Astro is an Australian Shepherd, which means that he sheds quite a bit. I've noticed that Astro doesn't shed as much as other Australian Shepherds do as I've seen on social media, but he still does shed. So I want to share my favorite products on how I manage Astro's hair all over the house. So I just want to note that my entire apartment is hardwood floors, which I am extremely grateful for. Carpet tends to hold a lot of the hair and dirt. These products do work on carpet as well, so don't you worry. I use these products on a daily basis. I try my best to vacuum vacuum and sweep every day to help manage Astro's hair all over the ground. With the hardwood floors, it is easier to see clumps of Astro's hair, which bothers me. It just shows that I haven't been cleaning as well. It's important for your health and it's important for your dog's health. Make sure that the ground is clean. I will stand by these products with my life. I love these products so much. These products have helped me so much to keep the house clean and as much dog hair free as possible. So I will be linking everything and you can find it in the description box below. I just want to give a quick disclaimer though that these are going to be affiliated links. So if you enjoy this video or if you want to try out these products, please use the link that I provide. It just helps me a little. It has no extra cost to you, but it does help me. So if you're interested in buying these products, make sure you use the link in my description box. Before we get on the video, I am supporting Astro by window watching with him. So if you have a dog that sheds, you understand my pain when I say that you find dog hair everywhere. Astro's hair is everywhere, but it is so worth it. I honestly don't mind the shedding, but I just love Astro so much. He's genuinely worth all of the shedding. So these are the products that I use to keep my floors clean, and I hope you enjoy the video. Let's get also, to it. So I don't know if you can relate. Do your dogs like to unstuff their toys and just leave the fuzz everywhere? Yeah, he is the culprit to this, to that, to <laughs> that. Do you know how many times I pick up your fuzz every day? Do you know how many times I have to clean your hair off the ground? You don't even know! But that's okay, Astro, because I love you so much. Astro, <gasps> mommy loves you. Yeah, mommy loves you. You are so worth it. This product right here, this is better than a vacuum. It has rubber ends, okay? The length of the stick is adjustable. Make it as long as you want or as short as you want. I like to keep it longer because I don't have to like scrunch over. This will get all of the hair off the ground. Even the hair that you cannot physically see with your eyes, this will get it all and I swear this is better than a vacuum. The hair does not get clogged on this. The hair will clog your vacuum, but this, you need this in your life. You really need this in your life when you have a dog that sheds. I promise you. I will always have this product with me as long as I have a dog that sheds. L let me show you the magic. Oh, look, look how cute. When I tell you that you will be surprised on how much hair that this thing picks up, it's, it's shocking. It's truly shocking. How simple. It's just... Yay! 
together. I hope you guys can see me from here. When you look at this, it may seem like there's not a lot of hair on it. Well, you are very wrong. Oh, what is this plastic? Look at this. Do you see that? Look at that. Look how magical. Oh, it's so magical. This came from that. This came from that. Like what? <laughs> this is the pile that we're working with. I'm gonna zoom in. I know it's gross. When I tell you that it picks up everything, it picks up everything. If you can see over here, there's like dirt specks over there, dirt specks, a lot of hair, a lot of fuzz. Did you create that mess? Yeah, you did. Can you not mess up my uh, clean work, please? Look, it picked up all of that and it didn't make it to the pan. I'm going to use my mini vacuum to vacuum this up. It collected all of the hair, all of the little tiny particles, creating more fluff after cleaning all of that. Thanks, Astro. None of these products are sponsored. I genuinely love these products and I genuinely use it on a daily basis so i just wanted to share my love for these products for you all so you can keep your house clean as well the chom chom also works on carpet my parents half of the house was carpet so i did use the chom chom on the carpet and it did pull out a lot of the hair it works on most furniture it's really nice to have a compact small device to pick up hair as you're rolling it picks up the hair like this and then it is stored into this compartment by just clicking the button. It's really easy to dispose of the hair. It really does pick up a lot of hair. So 100% recommend the Chom Chom. I have not used the Chom Chom on my couch for about a couple weeks now. So I'm really excited to see how much hair the Chom Chom is going to collect from the couch. We made the mistake of getting a white couch. All you do is take the Chom Chom. You just roll it. Just from that one cushion, this is how much hair was collected. I chom chomed all four cushions and this is how much came out. Look at that. This all came from the cushion. 
The one thing I noticed about this, it has a small problem picking up long human hair. My hair is quite long and I see long pieces of my hair on the couch and the chom chom doesn't really get it that well. Just keep that in mind. It's more used for short hair and more pet hair. I definitely recommend this product. Let's get on to the third one. The third product that I'm recommending is a wet vacuum mop. It has literally been a lifesaver is a little bit pricey. It's on the pricier end. I got my wet vacuum mop on sale for I believe $180. I don't wipe his paws down every single time we come back inside. I try to clean Astro's paws at least like three, four times a week. If your pet doesn't wear shoes outside, all of that like dirt and the germs, it all sticks to their paws and they're walking around in the house as well. So your floors are bound to get dirty. The floors can, uh, you know, build up all of that dirt and the mud that he brings in. I believe that this only works on hardwood floors. I'm not really sure about carpet. When I use this wet vacuum mop, it truly shows how dirty the ground is. The dirty water tank ends up being not too dark, but it's like it has a slight color to show how dirty my floors are. So I like to use this on a daily basis. If I don't have to mop anymore. It's literally a vacuum and a mop combined together. Might as well mop at the same time as vacuuming. So I This is the clean water tank. Oh my gosh, I gotta clean this out. This is the dirty water tank. When I turn it on. Auto mode. The one thing I really like about the vacuum mop is it has a self-cleaning option. It will clean everything inside of the machine, which I really like because you don't have to take the machine apart and clean out all of like the dirty particles. I recommend using the self-cleaning mode after each use just to prevent any odors because it is sucking up all of that dirty water and keeping it inside of the machine. It just makes your life so much easier not having to mop and vacuum at different times. You can just do it all in one. Look at that. I am going to be honest here. I have not cleaned the roller in quite a bit. It did tell me that a center is blocked. I'm assuming it is blocked from all of that hair. Along with the self-cleaning mode and emptying the dirty water tank after each use, I also recommend cleaning the roller. It will cause a buildup like this. I don't even know how to take this out. Look at that gunk. What? <laughs> is it okay if I film you? Hey everyone, this is Susie, or Snooze, my cousin. <laughs> Oh, oh, wow. Thank you. Oh, let me make sure you pull it. Reminder clean out your roller after each use. It felt you saw it fall in there. Yeah, that's it. The dirty water tank has been removed. Got this. Are you getting good shots? Ready? Ready? Ready?
Thank you so much for watching this video. I genuinely love all of the support that you give to this channel. If you made it to the end, you are truly the best and I love you so much. If you have some cleaning supplies that you also recommend, I am more than happy to try them out because I'm always looking for new products. Thank you all so much and we will see you next week. Bye! Thank you.